ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fun house. Gonna be putting some new speakers in my car. Um, I'm also gonna be putting in a new radio and some other stuff. That'll be in different videos. But basically, uh, this video is gonna be how to install new rear speakers in a 2007 or 2008 Toyota Yaris. I think the car was the same car for quite a few years in a row there. I think it was even the same car when it was the Echo. Was that what they used to call it? Anyway, uh, regardless of what car you have, it's going to be very, very similar, especially if you have a Toyota, especially if you have, um, you know, Yaris and Echo, uh, I would assume the, uh, the hybrid, what's that thing called? Uh, Prius. That's it. Prius. Couldn't remember it. Prius, pretty similar in design and parts to the Echo and Yaris. So, uh, here we go. So here's some of the things we're gonna need. I got my new speakers. You can use any speaker of your choice as long as it's the right size. I have this wire harness adapter. Don't need this, you could just solder it on, but I'm gonna use these adapters instead. Uh, some tools to remove the rear deck. I'll probably only need this. This may come in handy too. Uh, these adapters, here's the part number for those. And that should do it. Let's get cracking. So to start with, uh, we're gonna want to fold these back seats down. Uh, the uh, seat belts, there's these little slots here for the seat belt to come through. Uh, get that under as opposed to running through. Sorry guys, I don't have room for the tripod yet. Okay, that one's already done. Uh, these covers you gotta pop off of here. To get them off, you pop the front out first and then pull forward and unhook it. Now we've got uh, these sides panels are probably gonna have to come out left and right. And we have a couple of these plastic rivets. Well, a couple, there's three. One there, one there, one there. Oh, and there's a fourth one here around the edge. So that's where this comes in handy. I'm gonna try to work lefty. I'm a right-handed guy. Okay, we popped that one. Save them, they're reusable. Oh, it's very difficult to show you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. If they do break, these are one of the few things that you can get relatively inexpensive at the dealership. Or even just get them aftermarket. I think I bought a whole box of something similar on uh, Amazon for pretty cheap. All right. I'm gonna try the tripod now, guys. All right, let's see if we can't get this cover off of here. I don't know if the door needs to be open or not. I don't think so, but. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Ugh. I had to put the seat back up. Sorry about the noise too, guys. It's uh, it's the weekend, so everybody gets to enjoy their weekend how they see fit. And where I grew up, riding is a big part of that. Quads and dirt bikes. Uh, I gotta pop this black cover off at least at the tippy top because it's holding in the gray piece. And that is out. All right, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we gotta try and pop this brake light out. 
up and here is where the bulb goes in I think we can just press this tab in with a tool and unplug it or I might be able to unpop the whole assembly no I don't want to come out let me just try and Push that tab in with a tool and then slide this out. Oh, wait a minute. I don't need a tool. I need to push right there with my thumb. Oh, it's like a toy, it's so tiny. All right, that gets rid of that. And now I think this is ready to come out. Hey, took that wire back in. I'm gonna put this someplace safe. All right, guys, sorry about the terrible quality here. Let's put this padding back in. And uh, let's see what's holding these speakers in. Okay, looks like we got bolt there maybe 10 millimeter let's find out okay they are 10 millimeter there is four of them per speaker I might need a wrench or a shallow socket for in the back there by the glass stuff's annoying me. Get it out of my way so I can see what I'm doing, hopefully. Yep, we're gonna need shallow sockets in the back. Okay, let's try this shallow socket. That's working. Hopefully once I crack these loose, I'll be able to undo them with my fingers. No, they're gonna fight me the whole way. You don't break your glass. I just almost broke mine. This could be a very expensive job. All right. Pick this up. Here is the plug. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, there's a tab up here by the top. Eh. show you up close and personal facing away from you very conveniently was this tab that I had to push with my thumb to get it to release and that's one out oh my god these speakers are in horrible shape and this was the good one all right I'm gonna get the other one out too now want to show you guys something quick if you wanted to you could take this plug from the stock speaker pop it off of there pop it off of here cut it or unsolder it and solder it onto your new speaker 
or even get the proper connectors for your new speaker, solder them onto the end of this and make your own adapter. But I think they threw mine in for free. Even if they didn't, I have them. So I'm gonna use them. You could also just uh, solder some wires on here to give yourself a bit of a tail and cut the plug off in the car and solder it there as well with the uh, shrink wrap uh, over the joints or some electrical tape. Uh, don't use the crimp on ones, man. Uh, they don't work. You have your speakers turning on and off every time you go over a bump if you use the ones that you just crush with the pliers. They corrode, the wire breaks, they're garbage. So I'm showing you guys the easy way because it's most likely the route that most people will take. Um, here are your connectors that you could just use to tie into the uh, speaker system in the car that came with the stereo. But here are my adapters. And these will plug onto the speaker and then they'll plug into my factory plugs. Um, I have these adapter plates, these filler strips. And the reason for that is if you look at this weird bolt pattern on this speaker versus the standard bolt pattern on a 6x9, uh, they do not line up by any stretch of the imagination. Now, there's nothing stopping me from dropping this speaker into the hole and running some self-tappers through here, and everything would be just fine. Or push them up from under in the trunk, put a nut and a bolt, to hold it on. Uh, you don't need to buy this stuff. You, if you're handy, you can do without it. But I have it, so I'm gonna use it. What a crappy speaker. Shame on you, Toyota. All right, guys, as best as I can tell, this is what you want. You want the bracket on top with this hole in the bottom right-hand corner on both speakers. I have the speaker on the underside, what's going to be the underside of the bracket with the screws coming up through. You're gonna to wanna to be careful of these while you're installing it, but the rear dash is going to cover that. And if you look, here's how I removed these two. Remember this one had a hole in it, it was on the passenger side. And they've got this weird tab down in the bottom right hand. Uh, so that is how the speakers are going to go in. Sorry, there was a helicopter going by. Um, I have them turned so that the tweeters are opposing one another. You can see it says Pioneer top and bottom. I just feel like there should be a left, something that signifies one's a left and one's a right. I'm gonna put them in kind of the way you're looking. This will be on the uh, passenger side and this ear piercing squealing speaker will be blowing right into the C pillar. Same on this side, instead of it, uh, killing whoever's sitting in the back seat <laughs> hopefully <laughs> probably won't make a difference they're kind of centered um, at any rate uh, I thought I had to put these through these holes but there is a hole like a uh, indentation in the dashboard to let the wires come out so I don't think I have to do that let's go see if I'm right okay something else I found out the hard way so you won't have to is I found out that if I put all the bolts in the bracket and then I come in up against the glass, careful not to scratch the glass with the screws poking through, and then drop it into place. That's how I seem to get the best luck. Um, I wound up switching these for left and right because of the way the wires have to run. This will make my wires the right length. Uh, I'm going to just plug this in so I don't lose it. And then I'm going to tuck this wire down underneath. And uh, now I can get my screw started. Remember what I keep telling you guys, don't screw anything all the way in. Get them all started first. find it's much more cooperative that way hopefully your ratchet is like mine I got a little button sticking out of the back here Ugh, that lets me hold it with my finger so that I can make it 
lock up even though there's not enough pressure on the screw yet for it to ratchet. Okay, that one started. This one I was able to start by hand. Okay, they're all started. I'm going to tighten this one down. Now you got a bolt going on a plastic bracket. So you got a lot of leverage with a ratchet. You want it snug so it's not vibrating and making noises on you, but you're not putting together an engine. You don't need to torque this down. Watch your fingers on these screws. I just raked myself. It's starting to get a little snug. safe okay and that is snug just gonna do the other side the exact same way second verse same as the first I'll see you back here for a test uh, I find it only fair to warn you guys that I had tested these speakers before off camera to make sure they worked before I bolted them in you obviously don't want to do all this work and find out then that the speakers don't work so test them first um, also, I had already tested previously to know that I had a one broken speaker. So that way I knew I didn't have a bad wire. And I knew that I wouldn't switch out the speaker and still not have any sound. So I encourage you to do the same. Um, I think if you wanted to, you could probably get away without these screws and just pinch the speaker between the speaker-shaped pocket in the back dash and the plastic bracket with the screws in it. Uh, with the bolts in it, rather. But uh, I put the screws in. I tested it on the back dash. I think there's room for them to come up without hitting or coming through the grill work. And my speaker wires are run and not pinched. I know it works. I'm going to put the back dash back in. Don't forget your wire for your uh, third brake light. And um, I'll get that reinstalled and we'll... Uh, test things out again. I'll let you guys see that I'm not full of crap and that the speakers are actually working. Alright, there's some tabs sticking out of the back of the rear dash cover that go into pockets underneath the, uh, the window there. And we're going to get our seat belts back in to these T's. got some padding from underneath that's fighting me do my best to tuck that back in where no one can see it otherwise I'm gonna take this off and rip it out of there <sighs> this is not a job for big people I would just get rid of this padding, but I'd be afraid of having uh, vibration noises while driving on the highway and stuff then. All right, it's going bye-bye. I'll spray some expansion foam under here if I get any vibration. Ugh. Goodbye, trash. our little plastic rivets back in, put our trim back together. Get the tail light back on. Okay. 
Let's find my wire. Man, what a pain. this in hook the front in well back swing these down oh come on come on this would be so much better if I could see Get these plastic rivets back in. Okay. Oh. Dang it. I broke. Oh, I might need some new ones. Yeah, I need to know once the other one's broke. All right, let's get these side covers back on. Get in behind here first. This is fun. Ugh. Luckily, I can kind of see back here a little bit. Just see that I'm getting these in the hole. Okay, now for the other side. Now here's how you get these covers back on. You slip them on and you push the back in first and then click the front down and then close that. And that takes care of that. Speakers are in, they're all done. I guess let's hear how they sound. Here's a little ditty from one of my old bands, that way I don't get a copyright strike. Okay, they're both playing and they both sound good. I'm gonna call this one finished, guys. Thanks for joining, hope this helps. Love you all, God bless. Take care, thanks for watching.